He now has to face off against Zayn. Now it's worth noting these two played offline at Aeon where Quid took it 2-0. A close 2-0, but 2-0 nonetheless. So in terms of the set record between these two, Quid is slightly favored here. And it's, I feel easy to see why on paper when you look at the characters and especially their approaches to the characters. With Zayn, it's certainly expected for them to be playing a lot more passive with their character. And even though their aggression game is solid, the character is naturally more acclimated to keeping space in a very metered way. Quinn, however, has a character that's a lot more fluid and is able to reward that patience with a really heavy punish game. We see that with their combo structure with Squirtle. We see with how lethal their Ivysaur is. But we won't be seeing it on that stock as Zane practically gives Quid the first kill. Yeah, I mean, Quid will definitely take it. And at this point, he has the lead. It switches to Ivysaur. I like that as an idea. Oh, give him a little bit more survivability. Duck Hunt can at times struggle to kill. And just that little bit of weight boost that Ivysaur yields can work out really well for him. I mean, it already is as 54%, 62 has been dished out onto Zane. Finding landings is going to be pivotal for Zane to be keeping themselves in an even playing field here because I feel like one of Quid's strongest aspects of play happens to be from the fact that they're just really good at trapping your landings wherever you are, be it controlling the ledge, juggling you, that we especially see with their Ivysaur. But right now, these higher percentages, just duking it out with Charizard, trying to find some sort of mark, but Zane is on the hunt. Yeah, look at all of the pressure. So many projectiles, and finally, that one hits its mark. Quid going to be dropping that stock at 180 as Charizard. Uh, you know, I was saying that Duck Hunt can struggle to kill, but Zane doesn't want to struggle that hard to kill. Oh, Otherwise, certainly. This, this is going to be a absolute brutal match here. Yeah, bro. They're going to be in a situation where they got to find those hit confirms. They have to do something about these Pokemon pressure because... The damage could rack up so fast in favor of Quid. And while Zayn isn't struggling to find their hits, they need that hit that really matters. They need that hit confirmed. Oh, and here's once again this ledge offstage setup. Actually goes for the neutral air. Doesn't quite kill yet, but that should be it regardless. <gasps> Just a single hit of the neutral air! Uh, that was... I'm... I mean, where are we I don't, going? I don't Salty, where are we going? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to question too much Quid, but that was a strange option to pick with the neutral air, and that means that Zane is surviving. That might be the break they needed, because at this point, Quid can't get down to the ground. He's gone. Wow. That, that whole stock was Quid's to lose. I think just getting a little too aggro off the ledge was ended up... It really did it in for them as Zane found the reversal. Bloody one at that, but ultimately brings us right to an even game. Totally even. And at these percents, the low percents between these two players, it's just, I keep oh, recognizing it! Yo, you and saw you're it! Waiting. Yep, okay. The presence of Ken there was so important for Zane because it forced Quid to go for a really awkward early ending to his combo. And even though Quid is able to maintain the pressure thereafter, that's something really important to keep a note of. It also is what to keep note of the fact that Quid is prepared to not fall trapped to it. You know, there are lots of... Oh, is that it? No, no. not quite, but not going to take another one of those. And he's deep off stage. Yeah. And that's what happens when you're deep off stage against this Ivysaur. Yeah, there's such a such lethal range that's covered from Ivy. Whether it's up top and you have to worry about up air or vine whip or if it's down air. Like, keeping that strict lateral recovery is so difficult for Duck Hunt. But Zane's going to have to find the way. And also, pay attention to the way that Quid just jumped out there, didn't do anything, jumped out there, threatened him. Basically said, you are too scared to go into this space and forced that low recovery. Oh. But at no point did he throw out a neutral or a forward air or anything like that. It was just the pure presence of him there that forced the low recovery. And once you're recovering low against Ivysaur, especially if Quid hasn't committed to any option yet, you're basically just in the down air waiting room. Yeah, no, it's tough doings, but I think because Zane was able to force so many scrambles throughout that game one, if they try to take a similar approach coming into game two, this setting, I think, really facilitates that type of play very well for Duckheim. Oh, and it's worth keeping in mind, that game did go for Quid, but it was basically that, remember that first stock? We did not have to see Quid playing from behind, really. At no point, oh, okay. All right, yeah, just take 53 real quick. Yep. Uh, but here's the response now. The, th the thing is that... Uh, oh. You're going to see the damage rack up real quick in a matchup I, I, like I, this. It's like everything is happening at every instant. Oh, That's you can't miss those techs because he's got those unlocked. Jab, forward smash, cleaning up the first stock right away. 
Okay, but a nice tan combo. And yeah, I don't think we're gonna be seeing Squirtle for much longer. Ivysaur is gonna be the character in the bag right now because Quid, this is a character that he, like on a Twitter, his tag is Ivysaur Quid, I believe. This is the character that he's the most This is the signature one. With. Yeah. Quid, Ivysaur. There's a reason for it, dude. Like, the confidence behind this character, the unorthodox approach to the character's tools showcasing such a fine mastery of the character so specifically. I want to say, Ivysaur's disadvantage is normally one of his weakest parts. Did you see the way he so carefully navigated? Yes, he died right there for that beautiful can snipe. But, I mean, Quid is able to pick these unconventional options that are getting him off the ledge. And if you're Ivysaur getting off the ledge, that's a massive, like, you know, the biggest weakness of your game plan that's just not going to be a factor. Like, there is a level of confidence behind these buttons, and it's forcing out, I think, the most from Zane when it comes to how they control that offstage space. They have to be very reserved with how they utilize can to cover very specific options, because if they overcommit with the dog and duck themselves, they're going to have problems. Interesting. Switches to the Charizard right here. I'm wondering what the particular game plan is. For the most part, we haven't seen too much Charizard. The bigger frame means that those duck, and, yeah, duck hunt can hitboxes are just hitting him so much easier. But yeah, not going switch, to be switching back to Squirtle. I think just wants to find an up throw underneath the platform, perhaps. But it's taking a lot of damage right here already. That back air is big, but not quite big enough to take the you stock. Can't hit but that one. Nope. Too big of a back air, just like that. I think that's the value behind Charizard, is that if you're going to go blow for blow, you might as well do it with a character that can net their kill. But consistently sharking with this up air has been giving Zane so much damage and I have two kills out of this, uh, this game now. Yeah, and we're now in a similar situation to we saw in game one, where completely even on this last stock, despite the leads that have been... Uh, no, they dropped far too deep. Are you, is that how it ends? Yeah. After, <laughs> after going back and forth like that... I mean, Quinn's happy to see it happen, like you know? This. Quinn is going to be know. moving on a... into winner's finals. I saw that at little Zeno shoulder 207. shrug. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. Yeah, and I think even Quid looks kind of... He's not He's not working Yeah, that. it's kind That's of one thing that I... Like, you, no matter where you're from, no matter, like, who you root for, you got to put respect on the name of all these New York players because not once have I ever seen a player from New York, like, accept a win like that. <sighs> That's such a shame, I, dude. It is, it is like we're here for some good smash. I we're mean, rooting for one we're or the other, but we want it. some good smash. It, it's unfortunate that we had a couple SDs in that set, but honestly, there was still really good play going on there for was. both players, and that means that Zane is still in losers. I'm not sure who he's going to be fighting against next, but I would not want to be in their shoes because he is such a devastating player, and we might.